Hello and welcome back to the monkey page. This particular video comes from the module of Introduction to PLCs. I spent a couple weeks now looking for a decent flip-flop video for the Compact Logic Studio 5000 software and I couldn't find anything. So I decided to make one. If you like what you see, give it a hairy palm and uh, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You'll find all kinds of other great stuff there on AC-DC fundamentals, three-phase circuits, three-phase calculations, logic gates, three-phase motors, and motor speeds, and synchronous speeds, and oh, all kinds of electrical goodness. So with that being said, let's get on with it. A flip-flop circuit can be used in all kinds of places. The example I'm going to be looking at today is where we have a sewage or a wastewater lift station. Here, as the water goes up and down, I want to toggle between two different lift pumps. This greatly increases the lifespan of my pumps. And there's all kinds of other applications where you may want to toggle between two different outputs. So let's look at this particular application a little closer before we actually look at how to program it. So what I want to have happen here is I have two lift pumps down at the bottom and a couple of float switches. Now my float switches are going to start and stop my pumps. So as my water level goes up, it'll trigger float switch one, which will turn on one pump. Then as the water level goes down, my other float switch will turn that pump off. Now on the next cycle, when the water comes up, float switch one will then turn on pump two. And again, as the water goes down, it'll, the second float switch will turn pump two off. And I want to have this sequence repeat itself over and over and over again, where I'm flipping and flopping between the two pumps. You could use this in other applications. Maybe you have a couple of grain silos feeding a burn. And as one silo empties, you'll want to automatically flip over to another silo. And that gives you a chance to refill it and then have it flop back once the second one empties back to the first. So how would we program this? Well, let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at this, shall we? Now I've already loaded up Studio 5000 and I've already made all my tags and my aliases. So all I got are two inputs. A start and a stop for FS1, FS2, and two outputs for pump one and pump two for this example. So just to save time, I've already gone ahead and made all those. So where I'm going to start first is I'm going to start by doing my start stop station. So that's going to be FS2 will be my stop. Two will be my stop, sure enough. And then I can have my start. FS1 will be my start. Uh, I've created a local bit that I just called a latch. So I'm not really using any output. And that's what I'm going to use to trigger my flip-flop. And so now I can use that latch in order to uh, oh, pull that around to get my system running. So as the water level comes up, it triggers FS1. And as the water level goes down, then FS2 will turn it off is what my plan is there. That's probably going to be a little big. We're not going to see all that on the screen, so I'll make that a little smaller. Now I'm going to go and take my latch again. It's it's the thing as I start and stop the system. It's going to make all the all the magic happen. Sure. Now my latch is going to go and trigger an ONS, a one shot. And this is the thing where it only happens once during a scan cycle. It'll send out a signal signal and uh, that's where the goodness happens and I will call that a flip bit so that is the bit that's going to help us do the flipping and what is it flipping well I'm gonna ironically enough have it flip the flop <laughs> you see what I did there 
So now I'll add another line, and here's where the actual flip-flop circuit is. So I'm going to come down. I'll pull this down here. Now this might not make much sense at the moment, but I'm going to take a flop, put it there, and I'm going to take the opposite command and put that in series. And then I'm going to take a branch around, around. I'll take another branch around this guy, around. And coming down here, I'll have the same instruction. And this circuit here is going to flip-flop a flipper. Uh, again, I've already created, ooh, did I grab the right one? Yeah, created all of these tags earlier to save myself some time. So there is my flipper. So as the one shot goes through, it'll hit the flop. The flop will give it a quick shot, but since this one and this one is good, it won't have time to catch this one because it won't change that one until the following scan cycle. And that'll trigger my flipper. And then on the next scan cycle when it updates the outputs, then it'll uh, it'll change. It'll change. Uh, it'll change this guy right here. So let's take a look now. That is my basic flip-flop circuit and what am I flipping and flopping I'm flipping my pumps so that's what I'm gonna do again I don't want anything to run unless I'm actually running so I will again attach my latch to my circuit that'll permit everybody to do its thing uh, I'll do pump one to start with now in parallel with pump one I will put in parallel with pump one I will put pump two so what I will do but you're saying wait the latch will make that happen yes but I have a flipper that is controlled by my flip-flop up here so that's what we'll do is we'll take one command here and that'll be my flipper but then I'll take the opposite command uh -huh, right there for my flipper so long as I'm running this will toggle back and forth as my flip-flop circuit toggles back and forth oh there there's everybody hopefully you can see all that uh, it's a little smaller maybe maybe yeah so let's download that and see how this operates this will take a second or two to make happen. Yeah, yeah, download, absolutely. You probably can't see that screen, but the the capture that I got going on, you won't be able to see all the, the dialog windows that pop up. But it's downloading, it's finalizing the download, and now it's asking me would I like to go back to run mode? I absolutely would like to go back to run mode. So, since FS2 is closed, when FS1 here triggers, my latch will come on, my latch will come on, that'll hit the one shot. That'll flip the flipper and should turn on pump one is what it should do. And sure enough, it does. We can see here pump one is on. Now I'm going to stop it, which will disable all the latches. And then when I restart it, the latch will hit the one shot and flip this sequence here and we should have hopefully if I did this right pump two will come on so now every time I go between a stop start sequence I will flip and flop between pump one and pump two and there you have it your basic flip-flop circuit